See us coming together. Sesame Street stands up to Asian hate. What do you think of when you hear the words Sesame Street? Maybe beloved childhood friends like Big Bird, Cookie Monster, Grover, and Bert and Ernie? Maybe learning your letters and numbers? Quality educational TV programming for the little ones? How about learning valuable life lessons like sharing, compassion, and honesty? Yes, we know Sesame Street, a children's program that debuted on PBS in 1969 for all those things. But recently, the folks at Sesame Workshop found it necessary to introduce a life lesson in racial inclusion in the form of its first Korean-American Muppet, Ji Young. This necessity arose from a spike in hate crimes against Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders in the U.S. in 2020. Virologists believe the COVID-19 coronavirus originated in the Wuhan province of China. Some politically motivated elected officials spun this news into blaming the Chinese government and the Chinese people themselves for the virus's outbreak. Many misguided people in the context of this blog post, read the polite term misguided as gullible, ignorant, racist, hateful. Bought into this line of reasoning and spread the blame for the disease to all people of Asian ancestry. Racist rhetoric emboldens some of these misguided people to exact physical revenge on any or all APPI people they meet. Even elderly people reportedly are brutally beaten or killed solely because of how they look. Okay, I admit my accounting of history is oversimplified and maybe more than a bit colored by my perception of how events unfolded. Some who read this may believe that media outlets exaggerate reports of assaults against APPI people or that the perpetrators felt threatened and were justified in, in protecting themselves, or that attacking people because of how they look isn't really a hate crime. You're entitled to your opinion. My goal here is to provide context for why Sesame Street introduced Ji Young and the message that she has not only for children, but for all of us. Ji Young first appeared in the See Us Coming Together special, which aired on Thanksgiving Day 2020 on PBS and on Sesame Street social media channels. In it, another child off screen tells Ji Young to, quote, go back home. This encounter saddens and confuses Ji Young because Sesame Street is her home. Her friends explain to her that such bigoted comments are wrong and that no matter where we or ancestors originate, we all belong here. Phrases like go back home and go back where you came from are indeed misguided. When said to someone, they mean you're not welcome here. You don't belong and we don't want you here because you're different. Such phrases imply that someone is inferior or less deserving than others. They are hurtful and hateful. This is Ji Young's lesson and her message. What makes people hate and want to verbally or physically hurt others? Fear of the unknown, fear of that which is different, fear of some imagined threat to oneself or to one's tribe. Hate is rooted in fear. And sadly, some in positions of power intentionally stir, need, and sculpt the fears of susceptible people into hate. This practice is the cornerstone of demagoguery. It's morally wrong, but it's effective in amassing political support. Demagogues say, they are to blame for all your problems, and I am the solution. I can save you from them. Hate of the others forges a powerful bond between like-minded people. By using hate 
to attract supporters, demagogues built populist movements that allowed them to gain and keep power. Demagogues duped some people into doing their bidding, even committing acts of violence against the other as justifiable self-defense. I wrote the following passage in an essay titled From Fear to Hate, in which I examined how demagogues throughout history molded people's imagined fears of the others into a hate that they used to their political advantage. Quote, we hang many idealistic labels on the United States. The land of opportunity, a melting pot, the land of the free, a land of immigrants, a shining city upon a hill. But our nation struggles with a long history of racism that dates back to the first European settlements on this continent. How do we counter this ethos of hate? As individuals, our duty as American citizens includes standing up for others and calling out hateful acts as wrong and indefensible. End quote. Stand up for others and call out hateful acts as wrong. Sesame Street does just that in telling Ji Young's story. Hate is not innate. Newborns are not born hating. Newborns are innocent. Hate is cultivated. Hate is nurtured. Hate is taught. But just as hate is taught, so are lessons in compassion, understanding, and inclusion. For decades, Sesame Street has offered hope for a brighter, more inclusive future by showing the new generation what it means to make room for us all. Only by continuously teaching love can we hope to end hate. So what do you think of Sesame Street's diversifying its cast of Muppets? Is it necessary? Is it effective? Let me know by leaving your comment below. I dedicate this post to the memory of Emilio Delgado, who played Luis, the fix-a-shop owner on Sesame Street for more than four decades. Mr. Delgado died on March 10, 2022.